Hello there, welcome back to another episode of On The Tail Podcast, where everything is on the table and nothing is off limits. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and just make a, a quick little episode here. Uh, something that's been really bothering me the last few weeks, the last couple of days especially. Um, so, I've had quite a few jobs over the uh, last few years. My current job, I'm at a, a mall. Um... Yeah, you know, I'm to say I don't want to get too much detail because obviously I don't want to give away, you know, any indication of where I live. But it's it's a mall, so obviously a very public place. And basically, I, I do something for the kids. Um, well, let's say it's a ride for the kids. It's great fun. I love it. Uh, it's, it's awesome to see the, the, the kids smile and the the parents, grandparents smile, um, and, and laugh, and it, it, it it's fantastic. But. Um, one thing that bothers me, and keep in mind, this job, you know, this ride, run them all, you know, I move around a certain part of the mall. Um, unfortunately, not the whole mall, but, you know, a portion of it. And, you know, so, obviously, I see a lot of people, a lot of kids, you know, as they go on about their day doing their thing. And one thing I see way too often, especially nowadays, is kids by themselves or really far away from their parents or their parents not really paying much attention to them and I try not to judge the parents um I definitely try not to judge the kids because you know kids are gonna be kids they're gonna do whatever right um they're gonna act how they were raised but there are some instances where you kind of have to judge the parents um I mean, especially in common sense nowadays, uh, or just parental sense. And keep in mind, I'm not a parent, okay? But, which, it, it, which that concerns me more, that it seems to concern me, a non-parent, than it seems to concern some of these parents, or grandparents, or guardians, or whatever. Um, but basically what I've been seeing happen more and more frequently is where these kids will just run off, and they'll be, you know, like so far away from their parents or guardians whether they're running forward ahead and they're you know, 20 30 40 50 yards away I, mean, I think I saw one like 100 yards away from the parent I mean, now of course granted the parents are close by but this is a busy mall this is and keep in mind this is a, a let's an outdoor mall which basically means that there's no doors to go in and out of the, the mall and there are obviously to get into the different stores and whatnot as you typically would have but for the mall itself it's just you park you walk, you, there, there's no door you gotta open. Um, and what scares me even more than seeing kids is run, you know, 50, 100 yards away from their parents or guardians, um, you know, is when I see them pretty much by themselves. And, and I'm not talking about, like, you know, 14, 15, 16. I'm talking about 10 or younger. Now, of course, if, you know, you're 10 or older and you have, like, you're in a group of, like, 3, 4, or more, okay, still concerning, but at least you're in a group. Um, you know, if you're, you know, 10, 9, eight, like, you look really young, because I don't know these kids' actual ages, you know what I mean, but I'm just seeing how old they look to me, um, not that I'm a perfect age guess or anything, well, sometimes, obviously, these kids are extremely young, and it honestly scares me when I see them, you know, just going around and, you know, they're just walking around by themselves. There's nobody in sight that could be their parent. I mean, literally, in some cases, there's no adult around other than me and the other people, like the other adults on the ride that are accompanying their kids. Um, so probably because, you know, of course, I'm going to assume that, you know, if their parents are in a, in a store somewhere, um... But that, that just scares me. What, and the, what made me really record this was something that I saw a couple days ago. So a couple days ago, I was, you know, driving the, the ride around. And I saw this little boy just run, running around, you know, doing something. It wasn't very empty at the time, but it was what, what I call two of the entrances. I mean, it was kind of one entrance, but really there's, there are two entrance slots. There's one on one side, one parking on the other side. Um, and, you know, there's one by one of the, the bigger sports stores. Um, and he's just, you know, running, running around. 
uh, which normally isn't isn't a big of a deal. I mean, obviously, you know, he's really not supposed to be doing that in that kind of area. That's why they have a children's playground area. Uh, they have an interior one and an exterior one. But, you know, normally I don't pay any mind. Again, he's a kid being a kid. There ain't really nobody around. You know, he's getting energy out great, whatever. But then as I approached, um, with, you know, driving the ride, uh, he went to his parent, which is good. He went to his parents. However, the problem came where his parent was. I think it was probably his parent, like his mom or his grandma, or whatever. Um, or his mom and his aunt, or whatever. And they were on the outside seating area to a eatery. And by that, I mean they were fenced in. I mean, like, there wasn't a gate right there, they were just fenced in. So, in their mind, they probably thought, okay, yeah, we're watching, you know, our. You know, we're, we're watching him, we got an eye on him, but my thing is, and kids should not know this. Kid, kids don't need to know what I'm about, about to say. They shouldn't. They should just focus on, you know, being kids, having fun. You know, if if they're going to climb a tree, climb a tree. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's sad that we got to the world that we have today, but until we can, you know, calm this down... We really need to keep an eye on our, on kids, um, and that is you know as you know a lot of you out there will know, there are unfortunately really bad people that want to do really bad things to kids, and those people are getting more and more desperate as the days go on, and I I just saw that as if I was somebody trying to kidnap that child, that's a perfect opportunity. All I'd have to do is just roll up, park, and, you know, turn a flash on for a second. It would take not even 60 seconds to walk over there, pick up the kid, you know, while he's running around, and just run back to my car, throw him in, and, and drive off. And, and the parents, even if they have the fence, that's still going to slow him down. And, by the way, yes, I looked. There was nobody else that could have been watching that child um, in, like, on the outside of that fence. So, like, there wasn't, like, the dad just sitting over, o- over there in one of the, one of the chairs, like, where he was running. No, they were standing around over there. No, there was no, nobody that could have been, like, watching him to, you know, make sure he's safe. And keep in mind, this is, like, a five, six-year-old little boy. Um, might have been four. Like I said, I'm not the best at guessing ages. Now basically my thing is like I see so many kids just walking around by themselves. And there's another boy that I don't know if he got lost. I get I don't get wrong, I get that kids get get lost. It's going to happen. It actually my first week there, you know, the second week. It was my first month there, you know, a little boy did kind of run off. He was you know, he actually sort of following the ride. Um and, you know, his parents had a a, a massive group of children. Um, so, you know, it's obviously going to happen, more likely to happen. Again, I'm not blaming the child, I'm not blaming the parents, it, you know, they weren't like, it's not like they weren't trying to keep an eye on them, I mean, you know, sometimes kids just slip away, um, so I, I, I get that, uh, I'm talking about more times than, you know, it's just blatantly obvious, when you don't even try to, to look, you know what I mean, so you go long distance, you know, like, like before you even realize that your kid is not there. You know what I mean? Um, but in this, I thought uh, the, the first time someone actually, you know, lost their kid for a minute, um, you know, they, well, the kid was like chasing me. They, the, the parents and the other kids were, you know, trying to crawl the kids to go down to the, the play area that wasn't really far uh, from the main entrance that they had come into. Um, but the kid had gone, I guess, one of the stores, I guess, looking for his, his parents. So he was, so they were both searching, right? And, you know, kid's not gonna, you know, know where to go. Um, but fortunately, you know, they were reunited really quickly. Um, but anyway, so the night I saw this, this kid, again, definitely, definitely younger than 10. Uh, he was just playing around. And I'm like, okay, where are those kids? They can... Maybe there's something he didn't seem to have a care in the world. So there's a different. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if he's really good at hiding it. But so I watched the kid for a minute because yeah, I'm watching him. I'm you know kind of you know once he kind of what is his demeanor? Does he you know just 
is he actually there to see you? Um, well, that's a, that's a one mission where he comes out of the store and just picks up kids and kidnaps them. But, you know, I'm looking at him kind of like, okay, you know, one, what is he wearing? So, obviously, I'm going to, you know, call it in as a child by themselves. Because, um, again, I'm not seeing any parent nearby, not in a store, not anywhere. And then he eventually walks off. I, I lost eyes on I don't know, at some point as I was, you know, talking to uh, one of the security officers to let him know about that child. Uh, that's on the company, and the child seen me walking away. I don't know if he knew where his parent was, and he was just walking towards, you know, like if his mom or dad or grandma, or whatever, said, "Hey, you know, we're gonna be over by store Z over here." Um, so, you know, whenever you're done, you know, cause he was playing with the with the chess set um, that we have, like a big uh, massive piece chess set. So, yeah, I, I, yeah, that, that's my thing. Is I mean, again, I don't really blame the kid, but the kid seems to seem, because obviously, you know, if you look at the kids long enough, right, especially those over the age of four, five, six, seven, right, they're gonna kind of give you the idea on if like this is just like normal, like okay, I'm just wandering this place by myself. It's a normal Tuesday afternoon. You know, this is just how we roll, right? I do my thing, my folks do their thing. Or if it's, you know, like, oh gosh, I got left behind. Let me try and find, and, and let me try and figure out where they are. Or let me go to, you know, um, you know, yeah. And this kid, he gave, from, from what I gather, it seemed like it was kind of just like a normal like, oh, I'm just wandering in the mall. He's just skipping along. He's so happy. Which, I mean, again, kids don't need to know, in my opinion, they don't need to know the exact hazards out there. Now, they should know that, okay, yes, there are dangers out there, so stick by someone that you trust. Do not lose, you know, lose sight of them. Make sure you don't. Um, and then, so if you have a kid, you're watching a kid, um, you're, you're nannying, babysitting, whatever, just make sure you keep that kid close. Especially in, in a public place where, you know, all, all it takes is for somebody to just walk by, open up their arm, wrap it around your kid, pick it, pick him or her up, and just, boom. And then that could be the last you ever see that kid. God forbid what else we're going to do to that poor kid. But, yeah, so that's my thing. Is like that, that's what's been irritating me you know, and scaring me more than anything else. Um, it is that. Is that I just see so many kids by themselves, or, or the parent is on their phone, and their kid, you know, who I think is just, you know, playing in the children's play area, just goes 20, 50 yards away. All it takes is, you know, a few feet, right? And they're, you know, yards away, and these parents are still on their phone. They're just, you know, they're, you know, just talking to somebody else. They're not paying attention, basically. And I'm not saying you can't you'll be on your phone, but at least to have a look up. You know what I mean? Because, um, yeah, I mean, and I hope that kid, you know, found his folks. Because, um, I mean, he got pretty uh, kidnapped. But, again, there's so many people out there that want to do them harm. And you don't know who's, who's watching your kid, who's, you know, eyeing your kid, who's, you know... You don't really know who's around. You can see who's around you, but you don't know who's around you. You don't know their intent. You don't know their desires. They could have good desires. But they could have absolutely nasty, horrible, horrifying um, the desires. So, yeah, and that's 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 kind of my thing. Uh, that I just, I just get off my chest. Is if you are going to be watching your kid, especially in today's world, be aware that you know there are people out there. This is not the good old days where yes, okay, they still had horrible people out there, you know that would want to do terrible things to kids. Unfortunately, that's been like that for a millennia, I'm sure, um, if not longer. But it is so more prevalent nowadays. There's so many more of them. Uh, so you really need to just keep an eye on your kids. Make sure they don't get too far. If they do run off too far, you know, kind of sit them down and say, Hey, don't get that far from me. Alright, don't get that far from Dad. Don't get that far from, from Auntie. 
uh, or you know their older siblings if they're you know of good age, right? Or some of these kids may learn you know, self defense, but self defense ain't always gonna be able to save them. You know what I mean? Um, so you know, so if your kid does know karate, taekwondo, jujitsu, hey, great. But still, if you can keep an eye on them, obviously, you know, if they're of a certain age, um, you know, probably like at least ten, maybe like eight or so. I guess it really depends on how big they are. Uh, maybe you can lead them for a few minutes, but try not to leave them that long and still keep an eye on them. You know what I mean? Because, again, that's all it takes is just that one person to go, you know what, I really want that little boy right there. Or, you know what, I really want that little girl right there. You know, that. I'm going to take him and I'm just going to run to my car and I'm gone. Um... But yeah, uh, so just be be aware of, of you know where you are, where your kids are, um, and and another thing is if your kids are like there's this one guy that was just, like if your kids uh, like I, I get kids misbehave, right? And I get and you know, sometimes they they need a punishment, right? And I'm I'll be honest, I'm I'm a, I'm a little old school in, in this way. Sometimes, sometimes kids deserve a whooping. You know what I mean? Like good old fashioned spanking, switching, whatever. But not always. And, you know, only when they're absolutely extremely, like, that's like as a, as a last resort. Like, okay, they're really not listening and they're doing something dangerously dumb that you told them time and time again not to do. Um, but for the love of anything and everything love your child do not if they are just being a kid and running around do not yank them up so hard you are almost yanking their body out of their skin uh, I actually saw a dad do that and you know obviously as I was still at work I didn't know if my mentor was around because I've been walking around all day and hmm, it seems like kind of buttholed me um so I don't want to say the wrong thing but you know, I, I just really didn't like the way that that he was yanking up his, his, his little his little. I I, I don't know if it was actually his child or not. Now that I think about it, but I mean he was yanking up on that kid. He would just grab the jacket just with such force. And I'm like, all the kid was doing was like he wasn't like you know biting or kicking or screaming or anything or trying to run. He was. Just, he was being a little boy and running around. Keep in mind, this this little boy was like three or four years old. Might have been five at the oldest. He wasn't that old, so he's just being a little boy and running around. And so they rode my train, and I'll, I'll be honest, I, I don't want kids to get smacked for no reason. But I was hoping that if he was going to hit that kid, it was going to be. Because fortunately, I got in uh, the, the thing right behind, you know, where I am. So I could, you know, see... So I could have a really, I had a really good eye on him, and I kept an eye on him the whole ride. And I was thought that if he was gonna hit that kid, like actually hit that kid that night, I was hoping that it would be right there where I could see it, um, so I could call it in and, you know, go go to the whole, whole shebang, call CPS and all that, because that that little boy, I I have a feeling that at home that that little boy is getting hit for no reason. Maybe not all the time. But of course, I don't have any basis on this other than that, so obviously I didn't call CBS or anything because, you know, I don't really want, you know, I'm not one of those, those people, but, um, but yeah, it, it, it's, give them a little talking to. Alright. And, well, there you have it. That's what I'm doing for this episode. So, again, quick recap don't abuse the crap out of your kids. If they're just being kids, and if they're not being really, really bad, don't yank them up really hard. I mean, the, I mean, yeah, don't, don't yank them up really hard, really, regardless. Um, I mean, I guess the only time I can see them you grabbing your kid really hard and fast is if, you know, they're about to run into traffic or something, you know, or they're about to, you know, run in front of a really fat dude that, you know, got a trip and fall on them and, you know, crush them. Um, uh, but yeah, but also keep an eye on your kids. Do not let your kids get so far away from you. We are in a really bad time right now. It will get better, and there are people out there working t 
really hard, like diligently, really, really hard. Big shout out to you, to those that, that do that, uh, that are doing it. But yeah, it's a there are a lot of people out there. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good people out there, but there's also a lot of really, really bad people that want to do really, really bad things to kids. Um, so just and you don't know who that's going to be. And keep in mind, they're getting more and more desperate every single day. Um, so this isn't the good old days. Where you're going to let your kid bike for 30 miles or for 30 days. And hey, you know, it's fine to come back every day at supper time, breakfast time, lunch time. You know. But we'll, we'll get back to the good old days one day. But right now that is not the case, unfortunately. So please, 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 please keep an eye on your kid. If you're going to let your kid run around in a public space, make sure you are there. In case something does happen, you can react and immediately get get to that situation. Do not, do not put your kids in a situation where, you know, they could potentially get, get harmed or worse, you know, and, and you're not there to and you have no reaction time or a slower reaction time. Make sure the fast reaction time you can. Make sure, you know, you catch your kid before they go running halfway across, you know, a a, a large mall. Um, now, I'm, now, obviously, like I said, things are bound to happen. Kids are uh, on the occasion going to slip away from their parents. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, blaming either in all situations, but when they're just blatantly not paying attention... Um, you know, you really should be paying attention to your surroundings no matter where you are, especially in a public place, um, especially nowadays, because again, you don't know who's out there, uh, and I'm not saying you can't trust, uh, everybody, but then again, trust nobody, you know what I mean, because there's the saying that I take to heart, and, you know, the saying that someone I say, and I, I, I do it every day, is I have the hope that everybody's going to do the right thing. But at the same time, I trust that no one will. So I have hope for everybody, but I trust nobody. Um, now, that doesn't mean that I'm not friendly towards people. I mean, because there's another saying that I forget who said it. I didn't make this one up, but... Um, not going to make the last one up, but, you know, because I live by that one. I also live by this one. Which I, I wish I could say who said it, but I can't remember who it is. But a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet. So give everybody the same amount of respect. Um, at least in the beginning. Um, so give everybody the same amount of respect. Have hope for everybody, but trust nobody. And yeah. That, that's all I got for you folks. So... If you like this, go ahead and do your thing. Leave a like, share it. Uh, we'll do whatever you can on the platform you're listening to it on. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and give a subscribe. If you can, comment um, and let me know your thoughts. If you have seen, um, you know, kids walking around more, or what, or just really what in general have you seen lately? That's really been you know giving you the irks, giving you the worries, giving you, you know, problems um, that you would, you know, wish that people would, would know and stop doing. Because I've got quite a few of them, to be honest. Um, but this is the main one that I just had to get off my chest because it was, just, yeah. All right, but anyway, there you have it. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Thank you all so much for listening in.